All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Championship of the world. Introducing folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 152 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, presenting the Challenger International. And now, introducing a champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chilled because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Slips that left hand. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Right hand punch from the clinch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, collar tie. Big body kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh! Oh, nice he's got hurt here. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Knee to the body. And they separate. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. And he comes through with a big knee. Knee to the body. We got a fight on our hands. Oh, 
straight right. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big knee lands there. High kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, he's a hard. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault, staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And he comes through with a big knee. That one landed clean. Both guys landing with conviction now. That knee, that knee hurt him. And now he lands a combination. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He get peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Good stick. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Telegraph. Whoa! Oh, he hurt bad. He hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And really starting to make these shots count. Nice head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. That was a thudding lick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Missed with that attempt. Having his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really, he's got his opponent on notice here. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Got the single collar tie. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has... Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Side. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, this is not He takes the knockout line! Oh! Woo! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so a lot of people like the challenger tonight, but it goes to the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight king. And Gonna take a big effort, I would think, to dethrone this. Yeah, he is just a great fighter. He does everything so well.